okay welcome to my channel now i am going to tell algebraic modulation in the simulation open the simulation by clicking on the simulation library go to the file new model now we will get the new model first of all you have to save otherwise you can't simulate so save it on any directory okay then we have to fetch the blocks for this we have to click on this library browser on the pcm we have main three stages one is sampling quantization and encoding for the sampling we require two things one is pulse generator for the impulse chain and the signal generator for the generating a sign saddle wave we are taking these two blocks the sources pulse generator and the signal generator for getting a sample signal we have to multiply these two signals for this we have to sorry for this we have to go to map operations in the map operation dot product take this dot product block we have to come as in multisim we can check this pulse generator output before this we have to give the initial values 1 and 0 0.01 seconds pulse width give it to 5 and 0 ok ok and configure the signal generator also 2 5 hedges ok for checking the signal in the oscillator we have to click the scope paste the scope to the workspace and connect to pulse generator and we compile it and then we will get the signal in the oscillator scope Take this scope as the oscillator scope and this sample signal we have to give to quantizer so for quantizer we have to go to communication toolbox communication toolbox in the communication system toolbox go to the source coding in this source coding we have quantizing encoder for modulation we have to use this quantizing encoder for demodulation we have to use quantizing decoder for this modulation we are using quantizing encoder we are quantizing we will get the output in the integers but we have to convert to decimal for this decimal we are uh, using integer to decimal block for this we have to utility blocks in the utility blocks we have integer to binary converter in the same toolbox we have binary to somewhere here ok this is integer to binary converter we will have this one be binary to integer converter we have to use this one in the demodulation ok we fetch the other blocks and configure, configure this one also this is the intervals we are dividing we are uh, assigning the values to that intervals zero point two five and so on okay click on okay and then we have to place number of bits required give four bits example and for checking the output we have to use oscilloscope for this target scope to here okay compare again for any change in the input we have to compare so we got the output this is the binary output this is the pcm 
Oh, for the demodulation, in the PCM demodulation, we have replaced in T binary to integer block here, and uh, then quantizing decoded block, then we will get the message signal. Mm. We have to place low pass filter for better message signal, then we will get the entire model as like this. This is the PCM and this is the PCM demodulation. This is the binary to integer converter and the decoder and the butterfly filter. It acts as a low pass filter. We have to change the cutoff frequency of this low pass filter for better output. This is the butterfly filter order is 10 10th order. And uh, we have to give same quantization levels here and here. Sorry, here and here. Here, sorry, number of bits the same. Here and here. If you are giving four bit, then here also you have to. Then here also you have to give four bits. And what are uh, you are giving here? That we have that we have to give here also. The both the uh, quantizing and coder, quantizing and decoder have the same configuration. The same configuration. And the uh, integer to bit converter and bit to integer converter have to be in the same configuration. Otherwise, we will not get the this message signal, which is the sinusoidal signal. So please subscribe my the channel for uh, other modulations. Go to my channel.